This uh, beautiful little trail here. What was this thing called again? Scout Island. Scout Island. This is awesome. Um, Scout Island is a little island in the middle of City Park. Um, you can go to it pretty much any time, and it will have nobody there. Nobody's there. Nobody's here but you when you come here. <laughs> Like three years. So holy cow, baby, it was a really freaking busy week. How many miles did you drive? Like if I was a truck driver, I would have had a great week of deliveries. This was definitely the, the week of the comp assault. The comp what? The comp assault. The comp assault? What's that? Yeah, the comp assault is when I stand next to Ida, people do shit like this to me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're a lucky man, bro. I saw a comp assault. I know what that is. It's a comp assault because you couldn't do it the other way around. Let me explain. This is a beautiful couple right here. It's a beautiful couple. Both equally, proportionately attractive. All right? But if I walked up to y'all and I went, hey, you, you're very lucky to be with him. You'd be like, oh, oh, whatever. The crowd would be like, boo that guy off the stage. Oh. So kind of like what I said about the restroom this week. The bathroom at the, at the bar? Like, oh yeah, this bathroom is like wow. an old Roman bathhouse. Like it's beautiful, but it's also at the same time the messiest. Like so, <laughs> it's like really fucked up because you walk in there and it's like whoa, ooh, and you're like it's like a Roman bathhouse. It's a bunch of it's a bunch of like seven year olds got into a toilet uh, toilet paper fight in there. Like that's what it looks like. It's like. <laughs> It's like toilet paper all over the place. So this week was really exciting because of APCA, huh? How did you like that? You went in as Danny Manchester? Did you really do the whole character? Really? How did people like you that? People ask me questions about Danny Manchester. Mm -hmm. They were like, so, so who are you? And I would just go right in the character. I was like, hey man, Danny Manchester here. <laughs> you know, I'm Corey Max Rohde. Like, oh, I was like, yeah, I just sort of come and set up equipment for him, you know. It's a cool guy, you should come check him out. His website is www.coreymack.us. Oh, that's hilarious. That's like hilarious. He's, sort of like a, he's sort of like a hype man roadie. <laughs> so we were apart a whole 48 hours? From Wednesday morning until Friday noon? Wow. Longest 48 hours of my entire life. <laughs> the more you make me feel I hosted um, Rita's Tequila House on Wednesday. How was that? It was good, but you know how I'm used to just dropping you off? All right, so I'm heading out to Rita's Tequila House for our show. Usually I drop Corey off and the equipment off and then I go get parking. So today I was trying to get right. parking kind of close by. Um, so much for that. This is Bourbon and it's Wednesday night at uh, 8.30. We are not going through anytime soon, so um, I'm just going to relax and uh, wait my turn but the show was great the show was great that's really all that matters the other weird thing that happened was on wednesday i was walking from the car to the to rita's tequila house and this group of gutter, gutter punks were standing up i did a show on, on bourbon street um on wednesday and a group of gutter punks they saw me like oh man i love your hair that's so awesome and you're like super cool you can talk to regular people <laughs> I was like, yeah, and they're like, how do you do that? And I was like, I shower. <laughs> That's how it takes. <laughs>
get to talk to regular people right after the shower. <laughs> and I swear they were ready to like nominate me like the superhero of all gutter punks, like like the queen bee of gutter punks. She who speaks with the regular people. That's that was hers. weird. That was a that was a compliment. I think that's a no. compliment. No, like that's a compliment that you don't want. <laughs> that you do. And you drove back like no the night. Did you leave Atlanta like Thursday I, night? Um, I think I left. Yeah, I left Thursday night. Mm. After the open mic. After the open mic, it was like 3 a.m. Mm. I really? left at 3 a.m. I drove maybe two hours. Yeah. Because I knew that that would obviously help me the next day and mm -hmm. i woke up around five or six mm -hmm. so i got a couple of good hours of sleep it's nice. uh, about 11 11 45 in the morning friday morning he just got back pulled behind me actually and uh we're gonna rest up for a little bit and then we're gonna head out to orange beach tonight so we have probably four or five hours off and then we're gonna drive for three or four hours again um, and we're spending the weekend in Orange Beach and in Mobile. So I hope this weather eases off or we're gonna have to leave like in a couple hours to make sure we make it. Hey, hey. Terrible weather, huh? He's home. Uh, I'm so excited. He tells me Marines don't wear umbrellas, so I can't even imagine what he would have said to me if I brought this one up. You know, makes you happy on a rainy day. Hey, baby. Mm. So when you got back from Africa, you were like so negative. What was that all about? Like you were all consulting your own set. Immediately afterwards, I was like, ah, I give myself a C for the performance. I was like, I like, um, I'm not supposed to not be. So I can't grade myself on was I funny? They really liked the first joke. They laughed. Listen to that. It was crazy. I made this summer all cool that weekend. <laughs> the last thing you'll ever hear. Who was that? But just for the record, I did get at least a C. Just want to throw it out there. There was no plane. Going down. Did you just say, to point it out, I did at least get a C? I did at least get a C. What? Did you ex hey, I'm a I did not account. expect you to fail. C I is a little like, embarrassing. You know I mean, they loved you before you even got on stage. They were screaming. <laughs> so, that was Give it up for Corey Matt! Yeah! They didn't run up to the stage and lift me off the stage and let me crowd surf. <laughs> Imagine there were, that. There were no panties or boxers on the stage. Really? No one threw that. I mean, yeah, they laughed. They laughed a lot. <laughs> we had a lot of movement. We were all over the place, and I think that's really good. It, it makes it fun. This is one guy on the trip, folks, who did this. <laughs> but did you see the jump you did on stage? You look like a ballerina. You just like jump with your feet back and your arms back. Where at? For the um, zombie joke. <laughs> Is that really the best angle for the video you can get? I wanted that to be behind the scenes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like someone else filmed that. Could have gotten your feet. <laughs> the two flyers for those shows for uh, Happy Harbor and for Alchemy had to have been the best flyers ever. Yes, um, they took Guru Guru and uh, Ra 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 Zitzbubba, we have to say the whole name for pleasure. And they took a regular poster of me and threw me in with the mushroom people from Planet Cloud Nine. Mobile, is it mobile or mobile? Mobile. 
That was a fun whistle. Because this place was like this big office complex and it says mobile office park. <laughs> and I laughed because I went, it doesn't even have wheels. And I was like, oh no, it's not mobile, it's mobile office park. And I was like, damn, I've only been in Alabama for two hours and I already can't read. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why was that not a compass all really, Realistically, that was a, a compliment they really didn't want. They just didn't know it. Or was that an insult they, that they wanted? They wanted Because they cheered for it. <laughs> it was an insult they enjoyed. You have to say something complimentary as well. Like They, had, they, they didn't like, mind. They were laughing. That still doesn't mean <laughs> it's a compliment. <laughs> So just if just because they um, laugh at your insult, that does not make it a compliment. No. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. All right. So even if they like the the insult, it's still an insult. Mm -hmm. Okay. If yes, you guys were disproportionate. Say for instance, you were a very ugly man, <laughs> and she was a beautiful woman. Well, she's a beautiful woman too. So <laughs> if when y'all walk in and people looked at y'all, what do we what do we do when we see a beautiful woman and an ugly man? What do we think is, is at, at play there? Boom, look at y'all. See that? Even the women said it. They were like, money, gold digger. Because I'm assuming that the, the, the husbands of the women who are like big time gold diggers, like, that husband knows it. <laughs> like, it's not like if somebody told, told some, that husband, like, hey, I think your wife is just a gold digger. I don't think the husband would be like, He's like, no I know that's way. what it is. Like, I'm sure. <laughs> Because if it was the other way around, you're a beautiful man. If she was an ugly woman, everybody would be like, oh, look at that, that's true love over there, look at that. They must have been together since high school, but she had some babies. And, and he's still saying, that's so beautiful. That's how you can tell about it. People have like, self-esteem, because they, they come to the front and be like, are you going to talk about us? <laughs> no. It's just about me. People always have a like this. You don't even know how to some shows. Some people just pop up. Oh, you were hilarious. I was like, where the fuck were you sitting? <laughs> oh, I had my friend um, put the camera up and I just watched you. So we, did, so we did Gate Street together on Tuesday. You rented a car, drove to Atlanta Wednesday. Um, you performed Thursday, did an open mic, then drove back slept in the car, got home, drove to Alabama, three nights in Alabama, drove back from there. Like, how do you feel? It's a fucking, it's a lot of excitement. Huh? Like, I need a, huh? I need a day off yeah. from, the, from the excitement. Do something really boring. <laughs> really fucking boring, man. Uh, really boring. You gonna take a break now? I'm taking a nap. You're gonna take a nap. Oh, yo, so it sounds great in stereo. 